You don't need an external monitor to make great videos, but external monitors do make sure that you're able to nail your videos in camera so you don't hope that you're fixing it in post-production. Hey guys, I'm John. This video is a comparison between the DJI RavenEye and the Atomos Ninja V+. Plus. These are both external monitors that work for your video camera or your hybrid shooter camera. I purchased the RavenEye on all of my DJI drones so that I can have an external monitor for a very reasonable cost. These are about $159 when they're in stock. They come with the Pro Kit and they give you the ability to have a lot of different features inside of the menu system. So you can check things like false colors. You can also install LUTs. I think a lot of people do sleep on the RavenEye because of the size and because of the price and you don't have a true external monitor that's self-sufficient all by itself. The best feature about the RavenEye is the active track system where you can highlight a subject just like that and I can move left or right and the camera is actually gonna take control of focusing on the subject while I make sure the frame is perfect and shows what we need to have. What's convenient about the DJI RavenEye is that you're gonna be utilizing your cell phone as your monitor, which you're typically gonna have with you at all times, and this monitor mount works right here. So if I wanna do any kind of talking headshot, I have my monitor right there so I can kinda of see where I'm at and change or check any of the features on there. But it's super convenient and I don't have to purchase something that's about $1,000 just for the sake of monitor. If you're recording with any kind of external monitor, the benefit is gonna be being able to back up your footage. So you can record directly from here in back of your footage onto your phone. It's not gonna be the same quality, but you do have some version of a backup. The downfall with smartphones is limited storage, or should I say the, in, the excessive price for storage on a smartphone. I'd like to thank the sponsor for today's video, which is me. If you guys like video content like this that goes over gear review, how to use it, and what benefits come with each one of them, give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. 99% of the people watching this aren't subscribed and 99% of that is men. So subscribe right now. The reason why I need an external monitor is because I do a lot of real estate video and I also do food video. And with those scenarios, sometimes you don't have perfect conditions, perfect lighting, and you have to crank the ISO. With my Atomos, I can record in RAW, which gives me the ability to change ISO after the fact or push the exposure before I do any kind of saturation, color corrections, or anything like that. So that's a huge thing for me to have so that it gives me a more professional look to my final output and so that I have confidence that I know that I nailed it in camera or that I know that I can correct it after the fact. Some of the simple things that the Atomos has, like a battery that's removable and a hard drive that's removable, definitely makes it a better product because when you're recording video on site, those file sizes really do go up really fast, get ate up really fast, and you need to be able to hot swap these things and keep going because that's what your customer is actually paying you for. Where on your DJI Ravenite, it's just getting stored your phone, which isn't something that has forever memory. It's going to be limited. It's going to stop at one point and there's never going to be enough of it because that's how they make these products. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot more use out of the Atomos than you will the DJI. There's just simply more features that are built into it that you don't have on the other one. On the Atomos Ninja, it's definitely the easier of the two to set up on your camera. All you're really gonna to need to utilize is a HDMI or a 4K HDMI cord to plug into the Atomos and then to plug right into your camera. The reason why I use the Atomos is for the fact that this has raw internal recording. I work in a lot of houses doing real estate and I work in a lot of kitchens where the lighting conditions I can control. With this guy, I can change ISO after the fact or I can change exposure after the fact so that I can dial it in a little bit better. Not every scene needs raw recording and not every customer is actually paying for that, but it's a nice tool and feature to have, but you will be utilizing a lot more memory a lot faster with this. If you don't know which one of these two to get, I would definitely start with the Raven Eye and then down the road when you know you can't work without raw recording, get and utilize the Atomos and pair them together so that it makes your workflow easier, makes you look more like a professional because hopefully you are, and it gets you more customers. I think if you're just starting out, definitely the Raven Eye is what you should purchase first, but the best part about purchasing it first is you are helping yourself down the road what I mean by that is you can actually take the Raven Eye and plug it into the output of the Atomos Ninja 
so that you now have a transmission system so that you can see a perfect image on your Atomos and then your customers who might be 20, 40 or 100 feet away can also monitor what's going on while they're on site. And that means your customer might be a realtor who's talking to their customers and they can see what you're doing or it might be something where it's more commercial and you're doing like a food shoot and you've got a group of people that you need to satisfy and there's a lot of hands involved in that product. Realistically, more often than not, I don't think a lot of people go past 60 frames per second, but if you wanna get up to 120, you're still gonna to have to utilize a CF Express Type A card if you're shooting on Sony cameras. So this guy right here is only gonna go up to 60 frames per second, but I think everyone knows that at this point. If you guys are into photo video review, how to and gear tutorials, check this video out right here that's recommended for you. Till next time guys, peace.